they're saying the hair uh, is out of order. You're saying the hair is part of your religious and cultural beliefs. So explain more about that to us. Basically, you know, where we come from, we as a people need to identify that. Now, for us as a family, I can only speak for my family. For us as a family, we are Hebrewites. It also contain, goes in the category of Rastafaris. Yes. But the thing about it, people have a stigma about Rastas. Rastas, in people's eyes, is that they stay home, smoke weed, and, you know, the normal thing. But in my household, we don't touch the stuff. Yes. Is Rastafarian a religion or a it culture? Is. It is, is a both. It is both. You can put it in a religion form, because if you read the Bible, it also says that when he had the Lord came, his hair was like wool. It clearly says it in the Bible. In a culture where I come yes. from, kids, this is how they wear their hair. So, Mum, you will say, you know, I think the fear would be this is a fashion trend. Mm -hmm. And your point is absolutely it's not. not. It's right, not a fashion trend. Not. So here's the problem. I think, you know, the school have their policy and you can argue it one way or the other with you, but you can also argue surely the school, before they took Chickasee on board, they should have understood the child that they were accepting into the school, surely. Or told you that told their hair wasn't acceptable. Yes, Did you have any kind of conversation with them? Not about my son's hair, because as far as I was concerned, it was not an issue. As far as, in my opinion, it was not an issue. I went to several occasions to different meetings in the school. Everything they send us to go to, I will go. I bring my son with me. I had a meeting, uh, not a meeting as such, a conversation with the headmaster. He shook my hand, he shook Chickasee's hand, he said, welcome to Fulham Boys School. He said, it'll be a pleasure. Okay. So you, and you say you had read the, the school rule book and yes. there was nothing in there. There were, there were mention of, so they couldn't have hair beyond their collar, but Chickasee ties his hair up. That's exactly. So Chickasee, tell us your first day, this is Fulham Boys School in, in London. Um, what happened on your first day then? Who first mentioned to you that this, your hair was not acceptable? Um, I was in, I was in class, and then, and then one of the my head of house came in, and then she said, and she asked me if I can come out of class for a second, and then, and then she told, and she told me that, that by Monday my hair has to be cut. So what did you feel at that point? What what did you think about what she was saying to you? Well, I was upset and and I was a bit worried because I really wanted to go to that school. So you love the school, you're a good student, you, you want to be at school. So when Except he came you're now home, being treated differently, yeah. aren't you? You're being isolated or what, what way are they treating you within school? Because they see every day you come in, looking the way you do, they see it as defiance and disobedience. So you're being punished for that, are you? What, what way are you being yeah. punished? Well, um, on Monday, and they um, took me... They took me out of class and then they, they bring me into isolation. When you say isolation, what do you mean? Where did they put you? They put bring me into the into the head of house office mm. and then and then um, they made us they made us. Um, okay, let me just explain the school's point of view on this one uh, for people. The headmaster Alan Ebenezer says we are a strict academic boys' school with a very distinct ethos. We have a very strict uniform and appearance policy which includes hair. Hair cannot be shorter than a number two, longer than your colour, and must be one natural colour, no braids, no dreadlocks and no cult hairstyles. Uh, we are treating this as a cultural issue at the moment and are surprised that the parents have not discussed this with us sooner and left it to the start of term. So I hear what Mr Ebenezer is saying, but you're saying you met him or you met officials of the school before Chickasee was um, yes. appointed. So. He, he knew, or he should have raised that point with you then. We put it to you, headmaster, that you should have raised that then. But also, you're saying it doesn't, he's mentioning dreadlocks there, but actually, in the written rule book, it doesn't say it the doesn't word dreadlocks no, at all. At all, because that's the thing about me. I'm a strict mum, OK? Yes. So before even he went into the school, two things he did. He spent a day, a whole entire day in the school. Nothing was mentioned to me. I sat down, downloaded it, the policy, read it through. I said, OK, fine. They said no twists. How okay. do you feel well, look, about no, him this being is th this isolated? Is, yes, because it says, uh, the headmaster was on to say that anyone who refuses to follow school policy faces exclusion. Uh, boys from all cultures and backgrounds are welcome and feel part of the school. Uh, and if you don't adhere to the policy, there is no point in having a policy. So this 
could result on him being booted out of the school. Yes. So have and? you taken this further than the headmaster? Well, I've written the headmaster and followed their procedure again that's on the website. Mm. I've written to the headmaster and he refused to write back to me. So what happens now? I mean, I have to say um, that Chikazi doesn't have permission from the school to be out of school today. That's your choice, to mm -hmm. bring him out of school and bring him here. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to happen now? What do you think will happen now? Well, at the end of the day, the main thing and the most important thing is my son's education. And for a headmaster to, to be sticking to this sort of policy, yes. it is absolutely but wrong. But Tuesday, if the main thing is your son's education, you maybe could argue that then the hair has to go, the dreadlocks have to go. No, it doesn't. So then that's not the main thing, is education it's, isn't the main thing. Education is his main thing because I had other kids and they all went to school and they all got education, yeah. very good education, and they're all in very good position at the moment. And they all had dreadlocks. And they all had dreadlocks.